Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Hops and Vines beer reviews. We're doing a two for one today. Again with my good buddy Mark Conti over here, a uh, resident beer fanatic. And uh, we're gonna be reviewing the uh, Green Flash Palette Wrecker today, um, appropriately named. Um, I had this beer two years ago um, on draft only at the time um, at the Great American Beer Festival at the Brewers uh, connoisseur tasting and it was amazing IPA. They've done a second uh, release for it and we're gonna uh, we're gonna pop it open today and uh, dig ourselves a grave of hops hopefully. This sounds good. So actually really excited about this beer. It's gonna so, be the first time that I've had it and uh, from what I know about the process what they actually do is they essentially take hopped wort and mash in that instead of using just plain water and then they sparge also with hopped wort. So basically they brew an IPA and then they brew an IPA with the IPA that they just brewed. So it should be yeah. pretty interesting, uh, very yeah. much in the West Coast style of things. I will mention that on the label it says Palette Record was originally brewed for the uh, Hamilton's Tavern second anniversary collaboration and Hamilton's Tavern is a tavern and San Diego very near the brewery so they uh, probably very close to their heart um, and from my memory I kept going back to this beer because it was the hoppiest beer at the conference so we'll see how it does on the bottle uh, bottle end of things just a brilliant absolutely clear filtered dark gold to it which is um, insanely hard to do with IPAs I mean they you got to think that they actually mashed in hopped wort mm -hmm. with from the original IPA and then sparged it essentially with an IPA. Exactly. And then they did their regular hop schedule for their West Coast IPA, which is already a hoppy ass IPA as it is, one of the hoppiest. Um, and then uh, dry, dry hopped it. Yeah, dank is just the first word that comes to mind when I'm smelling, smelling that. It's uh, oh God. The, ab wow. ab absolute like, you know, resin of hops, essence of hops. Oh my God, that's good. That is, it's just. Columbus, Zeus, I'm a, I guess. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> you know, it, it, it would be hard to imagine how they could have squeezed more hops into this beer. Yeah. Um, it, it just has hops, it's, it's bitter, um, definitely high uh, bittering unit. Um, bunch of flavor hops, bunch of aroma hops, um, and it just sticks, it's still, I can still feel it. Yeah, my it's, it, I mean, it's all the way through from start to finish, just, I mean, and the malt, the malt holds up too, um, which is uh, where a lot of the uh, West Coast IPAs kind of fall short. Um, they lack balance and it's just very, very angular. You like get a slight malt and then just this big wham of bitterness, but it just, it's very, very seamless, just goes all the way through. Um, yeah, like very, very much just citrus grapefruit, um, like like chewing on grapefruit rind for the bitterness. And it just keeps building and building. Like in the Green Flash West Coast IPA, the hops do overpower the beer in a mm -hmm. sense. Um, but here the malt is definitely holding up stronger, but it has just as much hops, just as much hop aroma, even with all that malt in place. We're looking at nine... 9.5% alcohol. But there's on this. no heat. You would and never there's notice. There's no hot alcohols on there. If you were just drinking this, I mean, you really wouldn't think about the alcohol too much while you were drinking this. Or it's a beer that I, can get I, you into I, trouble. <laughs> I, I didn't think about the alcohol when I was drinking this. Uh, I just happened to look at the bottle. But um, drinking it, it, there's no heat from the alcohol. It's totally, uh, you know, the fermentation character on it seems extremely clean. Uh, they probably fermented it at a fairly low low temperature to uh, keep the esters down and to uh, keep the fermentation profile really clean and the malt clean. Um, this is definitely one of the best beers I've had in a long time. Yeah, this is definitely a Hophead's Delight for sure. Um, you guys come on down to Hops and Vines if you want to pick up a four pack. I think that it is uh, a limited release for them from as near as I can tell. Um, we should have it for the next month or two. It's $13.99 a four pack. I'm gonna go ahead and just mention that. But um, for what it's worth, I think that it's it's totally, if you're into hops and you're into mm. craft beer, this is, uh, it's not well, really, I mean, when you you're know, talking 20 bucks for a six pack of Hop Slam, 
Um, and this is definitely a very different beer than the Hop Slam. Definitely a very different beer than the Hop Slam. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, yeah, I, I think it's, it is definitely worth the, the price. I, I understand why the beer, mm -hmm. after tasting, it costs what it does. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, uh, all, the, all the process and thought, and honestly, I got to say, a lot of love went into making this beer. I because if it, it was a special release for, you know, uh, a pub that's very close to their heart and who supported them since they got started, I mean, I I'm right just, I'm just really, really thankful that they were uh, able to bottle it up and share it with us all the way over here on the East Coast. And um, yeah, A plus, hands yeah. down. Thank you, Green Flash. Thank you, Freedom Beverage Distributing. Uh, thank you, Mark. Um, <laughs> Cheers, brother. Thanks for another great review. Always. <laughs>